Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Doc Brown! <laughs> Lovely. Very warm, very welcoming. I've got that kind of, uh, that warmth in me, you know. I, I, I have that politeness. I'm obsessed with it, you know. I, I'll never forget, actually, I'll never forget. See, politeness, it can be the gift and the curse, right? I'll never forget when I was out in Glasgow doing some gigs. Before the gig, I, uh, this, this, this grimy local guy he came up to me in a Sainsbury's, asked me for some heroin. Right? In Sainsbury's? <laughs> right? I, I just went, uh, sorry, I, I, I don't work here. No. <laughs> Why have I said that? <laughs> you know, I thought, what's happened to me? I started to analyse my life. What happened? Because when I was younger, I never would have stood for something like that. You know, I would have gone right back at him. Right? But then I was more streetwise. Wasn't I when I was young? I used to consider myself cool. Yeah, I knew what was going on. I used to listen to a bit of hip hop. Yeah, yeah. I used to even fancy myself as a bit of a rapper. Back, yeah, not, not anymore, obviously. You know, I wear cardigans now, but I, I you know, I, <laughs> genuinely, when I was a teenager, I, I, used to, I used to want to be like the most famous British. Rapper of all time, right? Or at least since, uh, since John Barnes, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I don't think I was ever going to make it, right? Because to be convincing, as a, as a, you got to have a certain swagger. I mean, you have a bit, a bit of braggadocio, right? You got to do all that boasting and bragging, you know? And, and for me, I've got two major problems with that, right? One, one is that I'm broke, and the other is that I'm British. You know what I mean? What, what exactly am I going to boast about? You know, what am I going to say? Well, I'm get up and go, well, everybody hating on me because they want what I got. I just keep accumulating and I'm not gonna stop I got bling rings, glittery things you can't top Genuine Elizabeth Duke, Argos Nice heart, my pants are primer That's right, three in a pack of fiver I'm too slick You seen the new whip? I got the flash car, a voxel Astra You get to see this on MTV Cribs I'm the batter man Laid back in my caravan you could only buy this if you had a grand Interior, fully furnished, Matalan Always knew the next step was to get a boat And where you head are you? Two-man pedalo Yeah, you know what this is, you might not I pedal right past you bitches, like what? Oh, and I eat like a king Mini pork sausages and beans from the tin Breakfast, greasy spoon, fried eggs Lunchtime, cheese and ham slice at Greg's and for dinner, man, I don't want no crappy deal No, I'm going all out with a happy meal Cos it's got everything this boy needed And to top it all off, the toy's decent oh. Yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> so, uh, I was playing a bit, I was playing it a bit coy, wasn't I? I was playing a bit coy I was actually, I was genuinely, I was, I was a rapper back in the day. It's like times change, don't you? you know, move on things. It's, it's weird how life goes. Do you know what I mean? Cause f five years ago, I never would have, I never would have dreamed I'd be standing somewhere like this. Now, you know, no, no, I, I thought I'd be somewhere much better. <laughs> yeah, maybe Wembley, <laughs> doing music. That's what happened, you know, I'm, I'm not that same kid anymore. I, I, I've got to move on, you know, I, I've got kids of my own now. I don't, I don't know, I've got two kids, I don't know if anybody else suffers from this uh, <laughs> lifelong, life-threatening affliction. <laughs> but if you do, you will know that you have to make a lot of sacrifices, especially from your, your young life, you know, and I have, I have done it. But my friends do say to me, like, you, you know, you, you much as you love rap, do you ever rap to your kids? I tell them all the time, all the time. It's, I find it a, it's, a, it's a good way to uh, alleviate stress, release tension, you know, and it's, it's a great alternative to, uh, to physical violence, you know? <laughs> You know, just, just last Friday, I, I rapped a little lullaby to my youngest, right? It was, it was straight from the heart. Right? I was like, shh, all right, no, 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 story time's finished now. I've read, I've read you seven stories. It's over. You know, you know, Daddy loves you very much, don't you? Aww. Rest your head and snuggle up tight. It's nearly time to hit the lights. And don't forget, it's Friday, right? So don't come into Mum and Daddy's room tonight. <laughs> We've got important work to do from quarter past to quarter two and Daddy really wants to get the job done and I haven't finished my work this month, not once. It's what we never ever get time for. No, yeah, stay out of our bedside drawer. There's nothing in there for you, believe me. And mummy's little white things with the strings, they're not sweeties. Remember that rubber balloon you blew up and drew the funny face on too? Yeah, no, you did it superbly. 
but do you really have to bring it to nursery? Prefer <laughs> if you didn't do that. Oh, and that flannel by our bed? Never use that. <laughs> so, Mummy and Daddy, we have a date. So I'm gonna tuck you in with some gaffer tape. <laughs> to help you with keeping still. But no, these aren't mints, they're my sleeping pit. <laughs> How did Daddy forget that? <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart, have a tic tac. <laughs> Good night. Good night, thanks a lot. Got Brown there, everybody. Brilliant stuff. Great stuff.